You've learned how to zoom in and zoom out, but you are not sure how to add text or which effects to use? You're in the right video because today I will show you the text effects I use in my videos and how I create them. Before we start, I want to thank you all because my channel has grown a lot recently. I want to give my heartfelt thanks to each and every one of you. The first effect I will show you is S Texture Plasma, like this. Who could play Victor Von Doom? Okay, first create a neat text layer. And align it. Then duplicate the text layer using the shortcut Ctrl D. For these effects, having plugins like Sapphire or BCC installed is necessary. You can download them from my Discord in the description. Apply the effect to the bottom text layer. You can choose any color you like. Select the top text layer and do what I do. The speed setting is up to you, but this value is ideal. Then select both layers and pre-compose them using the shortcut Ctrl Shift C. Finally, to make it look better, add deep blur and drop shadow. And that's it. The next effect I will show you is S Texture Cells, which is a similar effect, like this one. One million. Prepare your text and apply the effect to the layer. Drag the effect to top layer. You can adjust the settings here as you like, but I usually leave them as they are because they work well. Choose your desired color. And that's it. I also want to show you this animation. If you want the text to animate, you need to apply tracking. I apply it to every text layer. Select the option below, click the stopwatch and create the animation. You can apply keyframes at any interval you want. This will add some movement to the text. The next effect I will show you is the light scene. It's something like this. It's up to you. Prepare your text and double click to enter the pre-composition. Apply the effect to the layer. Move the center to the side of the text. And adjust the settings as I did. Enable the stopwatch and animate it. Select both keyframes and press F9. You can adjust the timing as you like. And that's it. Before we move on to the next text effect, I want to show you the text I created using a program called Film Aura. Your address? American Gardens Building, West 81st Street. Nice, very nice. Thanks. If After Effects feels too difficult for you, you can use this program. Filmora can convert vocal recordings into text using AI, and you can correct any mistakes. AI can also handle translations. With Filmora's countless features, you can quickly edit your videos. You can apply dozens of text effects with just a click, from audio text to various text effects. I know that creating these effects in After Effects can be very time consuming, so Filmora is a great choice for those who prefer a different editing program. The next effect I will show you is Flaker. It's something like this. It can be hard to unlock. Apply the effect to the text and adjust the settings as I did. That's it.
The next effect I will show you is handwriting animation. For example, Right-click and create a new white solid. Hide the eye button and select the pen tool. Start creating a mask on the solid layer. Apply the stroke effect to the solid layer and adjust settings as I did. Enable the stopwatch, set it to zero and animate it. Select the keyframes, press F9 and apply this graph. After selecting both layers, pre-compose them and apply deep wall and drop shadow. Adjust the color as you like. And that's it. The next animation I will show you is masking. It's something like this. Look, Grandpa, I'm not a bulldozer. I'm a race car. Prepare your text and image. Enable the motion blur. Press P on your keyboard, enable the stopwatch and animate it. To get a smooth animation, you need to have the flow plugin installed. Select the text layer and apply a mask. Enable the stopwatch to animate it. Go to the point where the object ends and adjust the mask. Select both keyframes and apply the same graph. And that's it. The next effect I will show you is the electric effect. Something like that. I am speed. <laughs> to apply this effect, you will need the After Effects file, which I'll provide in the description. Apply it to the pre-composed text and drag it to the top. There is no need to adjust these settings, just choose the color you want and that's it. The next animation I will show you is 3D text. It's something like this. No! 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 Prepare your text and create a black solid. Apply the element plugin to the solid. From there, select your text, then enable this box. You can apply any texture you want to the text here, but I prefer to keep it simple. So I select it and press OK. Now follow the adjustments I'm making. Select everything and press F9, adjust the timing as you like. Finally pre-compose the layers and add deep blue and drop shadow again. If you want to change the color, apply the fill effect and choose your desired color. And that's it. 
The next effect I will show you is bloody text. It's something like this. He will always make the stupid one every time. That's why you never Prepare your text and create a new red solid. Apply the fractal noise effect to the solid and adjust the settings as I did. Move the solid layer below the text and change the mode. Then select your text. Hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and left click on the stopwatch, then type what I wrote. And that's it. The next effect I will show you is S race. For example, when you fly in a plane, wait. Prepare your text, apply the effect, and adjust the settings as I did. You can change the angle as you wish. And that's it. The effect I'm going to show you now is a gradient wrap. For example, Right, that makes perfect sense. Turn right to go left. Prepare the text in the same way and apply the effect. And do what I do. You can change the angle as you like. And that's it. The animation I'm going to show you now will be a counting animation. Just like this. $22 billion in three pockets! Search for slider control and apply it. After that, make the same adjustments I did. Add keyframes to create the animation and that's it. Finally, I'm going to show you how to create a glitch effect. For example, I need to tell you, tell, tell you. Apply the BCC cross glitch effect. Then make the same adjustments I did. Add a keyframe at the point where you want the glitch to end. And that's it. Thank you for watching guys. See you soon.